Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to talk to you about parallel turning. So parallel turning, or just turning as it's uh, commonly known as, creates a smaller diameter cylinder by removing a thin layer of our workpiece. So this here is an example of a piece that has been parallel turned, so it's sometimes called a shoulder also. So to start off, the first step we do is we obviously have our piece clamped in the chuck here. And we must gently press our cutting tool against our workpiece. That's the first step. So before we actually remove any material here, we must zero our workpiece first. So this is the handle of the top slide. And if you see here, we've got measurements uh, on a little gauge here. So we've got our cutting tool pressed against the workpiece. So with one hand, we hold the handle steady and then we move the zero of the dial in line with the mark on the machine. So that means now that your workpiece is zero. This is very important and you do this numerous times throughout the parallel turning process. So now we must measure in on our workpiece how far uh, our shoulder or our cut needs to go in. So I use a vernier calipers here. I have it set to 10 millimeters because that's how far I want to go in. And I use the little tool at the back here and I just bring it in and set my cutting tool to 10 millimeters and then by hand I turn the chuck to scribe a mark. So you can see now I've got a 10 millimeter mark in on my piece. So that's how far my shoulder is going to go in and I just bring back the workpiece like this. So we now want to start taking cuts off our piece. So we get our top slide handle here and like I said earlier it's very precise. So when I turn this gauge here to 0 0.5 when I bring my cutting tool back in as you'll see in a minute that will take 0 0.5 millimeters off the diameter and I keep going back and forth uh, doing that until I get close to my desired diameter it's very important here to use your vernier calipers to, to keep measuring and keep re-zeroing the cutting tool where appropriate So the aluminium bar that I started off with was 25 millimeters and I want to take five millimeters off uh, the diameter of this bar. So this piece here should be 20 millimeters. So I've got 1.76 millimeters to go. So I'm going to re-zero the workpiece and uh, continue on then. So now I'm on 20.7, so now I want to start taking really, really small cuts. So I'm going to take 0.1 or 0.2 of a millimetre off and continue on until I can get as close to the 20 mil mark as I can. So there I am now, around 20.08 millimetres. Oh, 0 0.2. So, yep, yeah, that's as good as I'm going to get now. So, once again, you've made it to the end of the video, so now we're going to announce the winner of the giveaway. 
So before uh, I pick the winner, I want to say a big thank you to everyone that has entered. It's been an exciting week for the channel and I was really pleased with a lot of the comments. So thank you for the lovely comments underneath the video uh, telling me why you love technology and engineering. So we've got the lovely headphones here and I've got the names written down of everyone who entered. So I'm just gonna pick one at random. And the winner is Declan Buckley in third year. So well done Declan. I will give you the headphones next week. Congratulations, you are the winner. So once again, a big thank you um, to everyone who entered and stay tuned for more giveaways. I think it's definitely something that we will do again. As always, I want you to like, comment, share and subscribe and turn them notifications on. All right, thank you.